Hello everyone. Are you ready for next tutorial? Great. Today we're going to make a different concept art. I was thinking how would look this scene from The Old Man and the Sea from Ernest Hemingway. I recommend you to read the book if you didn't read it yet. Let's find an old man first, right? We're going to use Sketchfab again and I'm trying to find a good old man for rigging and pose. I could only find this Asian old man, but it's not a problem because we are not trying to make a scene with correct characters and story. It's going to be our unique imagination. Also, this man looks very cute. I liked his energy. I'm using GLTF formats for fast and painless import into Blender. Now we need to rig it with Mixamo. It's very easy process. Just upload your T-Pose character and place points on it. Results will change according to your character's pose and clothes. Long and one-piece clothes will act weird after rigging. I don't care about it because I'm not going to use the character on a Hollywood movie. I really like these pre-made animations, but this time we don't need it. But it looks like that after the rigging. Good enough. I'm going to get rid of first version and import rigged one. After that, I need to convert it to control rig with Mixamo's add-on, which is a must for easy edits. If you keep apply animation option, your rig will have keyframe, and if you forget to delete it, your pose will reset when you move animation. So I suggest you to uncheck it. Now we need light for the scene, but it's temporary because I'm definitely sure about that. I want this scene as very dark night. I add a plane to convert it to the ocean with ocean modifier. There is no standard settings for the modifier because each scene is different than other ones, so my settings won't look same on your project. So just look which settings I'm playing with but you need to find correct numbers yourself. I want to make it look like stormy sea, and it has very dark color because we always afraid of dark waters, and our old man will be in danger alone in the middle of the ocean. I won't give spoiler from the original book, but I'm going to change that scene a little bit. Just wait for it. If you are following my concept arts from the Instagram, you know that I can't resist dark and tense scenes. And as you can see, this one turned into dark night quickly. Let's see what's going to happen next. By the way, please check out our Patreon page because we are giving all of our 3D models for $5. Support is very important for us to keep making new contents, and we wanted to pay back your support with giving whole library. We have a Discord channel for you to talk with each other, but there is only us there for now. Would you like to join? Okay, now the old man needs a boat according to the book. Let's give him a wooden unstable and easy to sink boat to make our scene very tense. Don't worry, nothing gonna happen to him. I'm gonna place the man in the boat now. Nothing interesting to explain, so I'm gonna be quiet for now. I want to use black plane as background because I don't want to show any sky or details for the environment. So completely black background is a good choice on this scenario. This old man needs a gas light to check the water in case of any danger around. So I'm adding point light. After that, we're going to find a good gas lamp from Sketchfab. You can find download links of all of these awesome models from Sketchfab. Thank you all for sharing your models with us. Hey old man, can you please sit down? It's dangerous to stand on this boat on a stormy ocean. I wouldn't want to fall down to that water. Now he can hold the gas lamp. Point light itself, not enough to spread good amount of light for me. I always prefer to use point light with emission material. So I'm going to add a simple fire shape, and I will add a mission to that, so it will look like a good gas light. I didn't like the ocean because it's looking like a huge jelly. It's not realistic, and I need to make another settings for it. It 
It would be nice if there is a moonlight to make it more tense. So we can add it with area light. I won't use emission or HDR because I don't want to enlight other areas. We just need to see the moonlight on the boat, man, and on small part of the ocean. I want to try spotlight too. There's nothing wrong to try different options to find better result. You can just follow your own feelings about the scene. I decided to add volumetric fog because all lights will react differently under fog, so I want to move forward with it. The results will change dramatically now. I'm gonna add a dangerous whale now. Don't worry about spoiler because it's not same fish with the original book. Actually, it's just only an old man in the sea for now. I'm trying to add light to it because it's almost invisible. We need to see it more to understand that the old man is in real trouble. Why don't we add another danger to the scene? Only whale itself is not dangerous enough. It's not a mermaid, obviously. I want to call him as Merman. Is there a word for men mermaids? Whatever. That guy can live underwater and he can climb up to the boats like this one. So what would you do if you see a merman climbing up to your cute boat? I need to make some adjustments for lights and overall lighting because I don't want to make the scene boring. Colors should pop up. Now it's time to animate the scene. I really like this part because I always prefer to work on a concept art as animated. I think it's more alive than still images. Also, I'm making short films and it satisfies me when I animate this kind of very short moments. What do you think? You can write your opinions to our Patreon. Okay, I was just trying. It's your choice to support us or not. As you can see, I'm gonna animate everything very slowly because we don't need big actions. I want the scene more like slow motion.
Okay, I finally finished animation part. That was too long and I had to show them in very fast forward speed. But you got the point. Now we need to prepare indirect lighting and I'm gonna bake it after that. I just realized that it would be cool if I add depth of field to camera. I'm gonna make the settings for it. All of these little tricks help us to make the scene more realistic. If you struggle with depth of field when you try to add more blur, the key settings is f-stop value. If you decrease it, it will be more blurry. I suggest you to focus on object because it's easy to achieve better results than manual focus. Now we ready for final render. I am making settings for the eve. I can't use cycles because I can't wait that long. I'm adding Lumetri Colors filter as always. There is no rule for that too. You can adjust your scene as you want. Text is looking good, I think. It can help viewers who doesn't know the book and what's this scene about. Thank you for watching, people. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, and it would be great if you support us on Patreon, because we want to share more contents and more 3D models with you. See you on next episode. Have a nice day.